Hi friends, welcome to a new video. And yeah, wala akong makeup ngayon kasi um, today is Friday and gaya nang pinamis ko nung Tuesday, I think. <laughs> Nga pareho pa rin yung damit ko. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with you what happened last week kaya hindi ako masyadong nakapag-concentrate. And while I'm doing that, maglalagay ako ng maglalagay nit ako nitong ay white whitening pack. Ayan. Ito. Kasi parang ang dumi-dumi ng mukha ko. Grabe. Ang dami niyang mga kung ano-anong mga chong. Ay, ang hirap pala magsalita. Ang hirap talaga magsalita kapag may ginagawa yung kamay. Hindi ko alam. Ako lang ba to? O ganito din kayo? Makalipas ang ilang si Blake. Hi guys! I'm back! Yeah! Tinapos ko na lang muna bago ko kayo kausapin. Pero sa ngayon, medyo, hindi, sobrang basa niya pa. So, hindi ko pa siya pwedeng tanggalin. By the way, while I'm doing this, nagkakape ako. Itong bag na to, ayan. Di ba, ang cute niya? Kaya, yun. Yeah, I wanted to share with you what happened. I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of it, but not really in detail. But that, let me just tell you, um, we had series of unfortunate events that happened to us this week. So, yeah, last week, I mean. So, yeah, noong Sunday, pumunta ako ng work. Um, usually, day off ako ng Sunday, kasi yung day off ko is Saturday and Sunday. Kaya lang, nakipag-swap ako ng day off sa kaibigan ko because I needed to film nga, sana. Ay, nakapag-film naka pala ako. So, Nakipag-swap ako ng isang araw ng day off. So, kinailangan ko mag-duty ng Sunday. So, Sunday, um, we actually went through our normal routine. I, I went to work. My sister went to church. Tapos, nung hapon, pumunta, umuwi siya. Siyempre, uwi naman talaga siya. And then, she did her laundry. So, yung pinaglabhan kasi ng kapatid ko kasi madilim na sa labas. So, dun siya sa taas naglabas sa, sa, sa bathroom. Um, what happened was, naiwan niya kasi yung phone niya, yung phone niya at saka yung iPad ng company nila dito sa bed or dito sa room namin and hindi niya nalak or he, kasi normally hindi kami naglalak ng room which is also a lesson for us na kahit na malapit na yung pupuntahan kailangan talaga maglak ng room. So, yun. Um, nung bumaba siya, wala na, wala na yung stuff niya. Um, when I got home, my sister was already crying so hard kasi nga, um, it's actually a different thing kung na nawalan ka ng isang bagay na sayo. The thing is, one of the stuff na nakuha sa kanya is not hers, it's actually her company. So, um, basically, it's her responsibility to like, really take care of it. Okay lang naman, uh, ako sa, sa totoo lang, siguro kahit anyone would, would agree to me na mas okay kung, kung nawala yung bagay na nawala sa atin, eh, personal natin gamit. But if it's, like, already someone else's um, property nawala or nasira, that's really a big deal for us. Because, syempre, hindi atin yun eh. And that was just, like, um, entrusted to us. So, yung parang ganun. So, I, I understand yung reaction ng kapatid ko. She really cried her heart out and it really broke my heart. And, really, there's, there's, there was nothing I can do about it. I just hugged her. So, we decided na afternoon, um, we decided that night then pinakalma ko lang siya ng konti. Um, we went to the police station to, to report what happened. And, kasi kailangan niya din yun so that she can file like um, a police report kasi she needed to like report that so office nila so yun we went to police station um nagpadala sila ng investigator dito when we went to the police station nung pumunta kami dun sa police um tinanong kami ng chief kung may suspect ba kami and we answered right away na wala kaming suspect kasi we didn't kasi parang we're not from this place eh. Although I all I am already living here for eight years. Hindi ako masyadong, hindi ako nakakapag-interact sa mga tao sa labas. Kasi yung parang uuwi lang ako, diretso ako sa loob ng bahay. Kasi yung bahay namin is in a compound. So yun, tapos lalabas ako para lang pumunta ng trabaho. Yung parang ganun lang. So, 
sinagot kami ng ng police ng so ano magagawa ng police yung parang Oo nga naman, may point din ako siya, di ba? Anong magagawa ng polis kung wala kaming suspect? Sino nga naman yung profile namin ng kaso? All that. So, pero um, yung, yung point din namin is that, na nakawan kami, alam nga naman saan kami pumunta. Na, pumunta kami ng doktor, syempre. Or sa punerari. Syempre, sa polis kami lalapit kasi yun yung trabaho nila. But anyway, um, sinabihan niyo ng polis na, um, kasi nagtanong yung kapatid ko, ano bang pwedeng, Anong, anong klaseng kaso to? Ganon yun nun. So, she was expecting for it to be robbery. Kaya lang sabi ng police, it cannot be robbery. So, theft lang siya. At may natutunan ako sa experience na yun. There's a difference between theft and robbery. Kasi yung theft is parang yung walang force na entry. Yung parang kinuha lang siya. Yung parang naiwan mo lang. Let's say, for example, may cellphone ka, tapos naiwan mo lang siyang ganyan sa table mo. Tapos pagbalik mo, wala na siya. Theft yun. Kasi walang force entry or hindi ka pinilit na kunin or hi, walang nagpumilit na kunin yun sa'yo. Yung parang ganon. So, yun. Tapos nagtanong ulit yung police. Um, sinabi niya, kasi wala ako nung nangyari yun. So, wala akong statement na maibibigay. So, tinanong niya yung kapatid ko. Yung parang alalahanin mo, sino yung mga tao nandun nung nangyari yung yung pangyayaring yun. And, sinagot niya naman, sinabi niya yung, kasi yung may mga kasama kami dito sa bahay, tapos yung isang kapitbahay namin. So, yung police yung nagsabi na, sige, ipapainvestigahan natin yan, yung ganun-ganun. As of the moment, yung parang, yung, yung parang pinapalabas or yung parang inaano niya sa amin is that yung suspect, everyone can be suspect eh, kasi lahat naman, lahat naman sila na dito sa bahay. Pero since yung, aray, pero since yung kapitbahay namin yung andito na hindi taga-bahay, so yung parang siya yung parang um, naisip ng pulis. So after nung pumunta siya dito, hindi nga ng statement yung mga kasama namin sa bahay, hindi nga ng statement yung kapitbahay namin. I thought that was the end of it. Um, nung umagang yon my sister went to the police station kasi nga kukunin niya na yung police report. Apparently, hindi siya masaya dun sa police report na binigay kasi parang hindi siya detailed. So, kailangan, kailangan kasi, again, kailangan ng kapatid ko yung police report na yon kasi ire-report na yun sa, sa office nila. Yun, natagalan siya. <laughs> um, so, yun, medyo natagalan yung process. Umabot pa sila dun sa pinatawag yung kapitbahay namin ulit ng police. Tapos, parang bumalik pa yung police dito at Halain nyo ba namang nakabra lang ako? Kasi room namin to, di ba? So, nakabra lang akong ganun. Tapos, <laughs> bumapasok-pasok yung police dito. Tapos, um, hindi namin alam na iba na pala yung pakiramdam ng kapitbahay namin. Kasi feeling niya, um, siya yung, yung parang kinasuhan namin siya or pinagbibintakan siya ng kapatid ko na siya yung nagnakaw, ganun. So, yun, yung parang nagkagulo na naman kami dito sa ano, kasi parang, yun nga, yun nga, syempre, di ba, na-hurt, na-hurt yung kapitbahay namin, tapos, she, um, she was already thinking of, like, magpa-file lang kaso, which is okay lang naman sa amin, kung yun yung gusto niyang gawin, edi, hahara na, haharapin namin yung kaso na ipa-file niya, but, uh, um, there was no case filed, um, we, we, we were just waiting, you know, kasi, yung gusto namin gawin, So yeah, ang gulo. The, the, the week, this week was very stressful for me and especially for my baby sister. Ang, ang hirap kasi talaga ng ano, ewan ko, we do not always go through this. I mean, kaya kapag may mga bagay na ganito, parang nagiging big deal siya for me. Kasi we're just ordinary people. We're just normal people. So as of the moment, I'm alone dito sa bahay. My sister went somewhere else kasi nga, parang hindi niya hindi niya feel yung environment dito. So, yun. That's what happened. And uh, that's basically the reason na kahit na may day off ako last... Yun, that's basically the reason na kahit na hindi ako pumasok ng Tuesday and Wednesday last week, parang wala pa rin akong ganing magsalita. I mean, hindi talaga tumatapo yung utak ko. If you notice, hanggang ngayon, yung parang medyo mahina. <laughs> hindi ko alam. Medyo wala pa rin akong energy. But I'm, I'm hoping na bumalik yung energy ko. Yung aking, ano, yung aking enthusiasm. Ayoko naman kayo kausapin na monotone lang talaga yung, ano, kasi yung, 
may pananalita ako kasi, you know, that's, I, I don't want you to, to like, feel how I feel. But I just want you to know kung anong nangyari. So, that's what happened. And this may not be a very big deal for some of you, but para sa amin kasi parang, hi. Because there were a lot of things na nangyari na I would prefer not to talk about dito sa video na to. Kaya yun, it's it's just so sad. Nung umalis nga yung kapatid ko, I was already, I was, I was crying. I was crying my heart out. Um, because I, I, my, my, <clears throat> my threat kasi, so, parang, just for her to be safe, we needed to, we needed to send her away. So, I'm not sure, at the moment, kung babalik pa yung kapatid ko dito, but I think it's, ewan ko, I think it's actually best kung hindi na, hindi ko alam, siguro maghahanap na na kami na ibang place for her, just to keep her safe. So, yun. <laughs> Pasensya na ho, MMK ba? Ayan, natapos ako magkwento. Natapos ako magkwento pero basa pa rin siya. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Hindi ko na kayo patatagalin dito kasi hihintayin ko pa itong mag magtanggal. Um, I hope um, everything goes well and I do hope that you you, you know, help us in prayers um, for this. <laughs> so yeah. I'll see you again. I'll see you. I'll see you next week.